Hi there, it's Sam from poodles.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me today. Today's project is this one. It's this year's chocolate foiled egg boxes. Uh, if you've been following me for a while, you know that every year I buy these big bulk bags of chocolate foiled eggs. And they're foil wrapped in all sorts of different colours. And I buy these every year and make up treats for my children and share them with you. And there's a different style every year. So I've done the very long, thin ones, which hold, I think it's about 10 or 11 eggs. They're very long and very thin. I've done little mini milk cartons. This year I'm doing very decadent triangular treat boxes. So I don't know how well you're going to see all of them. They are just divine and they've got a gold ring, gold binder clip. It's just luxury in a mini box. And this box, this bag was full. And not very many out of each. Seven is what it holds. And I'm going to show you how to do the pink version. And you can make two of these boxes from one sheet of um, one sheet of cardstock, whether it's twelve, uh, whether it's eight and a half by eleven or international A4. Super easy. Right. You need to score on the short side first at one and a half inch. Oh, I didn't give you the measurements of it. Eight and a half by sorry. Eight and a half by four inches, 21 and a half by 10 centimeters. And you're scoring the short side first at one and a half inches, which is uh, four centimeters. And then turn it over and score it at three and a half inches, which is nine centimeters. Turn it back and rotate. So basically you want to have the, this thin one is the only one that is the wrong side up and I say wrong side because we want to get this nice finish here okay I've got ink on my fingers from the previous video I've just filmed okay on the long side score it every two inches at two four six and eight which in centimeters five ten fifteen and twenty all the way from top to bottom we do need to do some part scoring and that just goes to this line here this one that's the wrong way round at three inches and seven inches, which in metric is seven and a half and seventeen and a half centimeters. Couldn't think then. I've got notes off to one side, and I'm looking at them. They're actually <laughs> instead of reading my notes like that, they're actually at that angle. Why I haven't moved them, I don't know. Okay, long ruler because we're going to join this triangle, this here where we've made this mark down. We're going to draw a triangle there and there for both of them. And that's how we're going to get this lush, gorgeous close on the sides like that. Okay. See that? Bravo. Right, let's get this all folded up. Here's the one that's the wrong way round, but the right way round. It just gives, you could, you don't have to turn it over. I like to turn it over because I just think it gives a smoother finish that way around. That is just me though. Right. So some bits to trim away before we start putting in, punching in the holes. So we've got a skinny section on the right hand side. This little bit here, just take a little notch off it and then get rid of this one. So that's the first one gone, so I've just wedged there and cut there. These ones we're gonna cut straight up. Right, so that's the cutting done. I need to do some punching now, and I need my one inch circle punch. I also need my one and three eighths of an inch scallop circle. New favourite, love it. Oh, that's the wrong one, that's the one and one eighth. There's my one and three eighths of an inch. So this is, we're gonna punch it here. So we've got a tab there, tab, triangle, square. This is the one we wanna go in. And when you fold this part over, yes, you could make a template if you wanted. So you just punch a circle out. Let me just grab a bit of spare cardstock and put it in position, but actually I need it to miss this bit here. I need to not be punching into that. And I have found that simply fold it over, 
feed your punch in. I'm looking to the left and to the right and making sure that this part here, I'm going to miss it when I push my punch in. So I've got a nice border left and right that's the same. I'm not going to hit this part. And that's given me a circle pretty much in the right place that I want it to be. Bravo. While I've got my punches out, I've got some gold foil here. Punch your one inch circle first. Make sure that you've got a room to put a board around it. And then come back with your one and three eighths of an inch circle and go round it. So that's giving me my nice decadent circle that's going to go on the front there. Liquid glue, best always to use liquid glue so you've got wibble room. I like Tombow for this, it's gummed up. It's absolutely fine for this. Foil is a bit of a funny one or the back of foil doesn't really like all of our adhesives but Tombow it's like yeah I quite like that. I can handle the Tombow. So onto the front there. I'm just going to hold that down a second. Actually, you know what? I'm going to put I'm going to put a punch on it. And I'm going to put on the inside. So this has actually got window sheet. My first one that I made, I didn't put the window sheet in and the eggs popped out, which is no good. So the window sheet is simply to stop that. Actually, my original sample, that is my original sample. It's holding the pink eggs that I'm going to put in it. And I just thought that's not luxurious enough. But it's a good holder for my pink, for my pink eggs. Right, where did I put my piece of window sheet? Tiny little piece, it's one and a half inches. Because, um, you know, window sheet is, is... Well, we don't like to chop up loads of it. Put a mini glue dot in two of the opposite corners, or two of the corners that are diagonally opposite each other. You could put it in all four if you really wanted to, but, you know, two is plenty. That's now stuck on. Come to the inside and push that into place. So I've now made my window and I've, all I've got to do now is glue it all together. So, fast fuse down the side. This flat one, I've got triangles there, flat one, that's the back. So bring in your sides and the back. I would say put glue on the back just because, well, <laughs> It's not that they're heavy, but they are wobbly shaped. They like to poke them way out. And then finish off with the front. It just makes sense to me. So you can see that this one I haven't and it's trying to pop open. So that extra layer of glue stops that happening. And you can see it doesn't meet up at the bottom. That's okay, I wanted it to me, it was important that I got two inches there, five centimeters, and could make two from a box, from a, sorry, two from a sheet of cardstock. I've just simply closed it and the triangles have taken it in. My eggs, you can fit seven of these in here. Just check nobody's pinched one, including me. It doesn't fill it by any stretch of the imagination, but when you close it like that, there might be a little bit of resistance. So I have found that actually by closing it while shaking it around, there we go, they position themselves absolutely beautifully. I forgot to get my binder clips out. <gasps> Oh, here's one. <laughs> They're on a shelf. Gold binder clips because gold is luxury too. And then all I need to do to finish off some of our metallic enamel shapes, you get a, a sheet of gold and a sheet of silver. So I'm going to take a large gold circle there and a small gold circle. And that, I think, is a lovely luxury treat. Let's get my rainbow correct. Do you start your rainbows with red or with pink? See, that doesn't, no, it's gotta be like that. And seriously, so many eggs left. One for me, one for Chris, one for Jack, one for Luke, one for Jacob, one for Oliver. And loads left. So many, I don't remember how much it cost me. Amazon from here. If you're buying online, do check the sell-by dates. I've not had dodgy eggs before, but do check them anyway. So, and those eggs are easily available all year, uh, all year round in all sorts of places. I love them. 
they're so luxurious. <gasps> anyway, thank you ever so much for joining me. Hope to speak to you soon. Bye.